the Funky Podcast. Get off the loo. Get off your shoe. And listen up to me and Sean and Vaughn and Don and whatever. Whatever. The Funky Podcast. The Funky Podcast. The Funky Podcast The Funky Podcast The Funky Podcast The Funky Podcast Yeah! 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 Funky Podcast Welcome to the Funky Podcast. My name is Kieran. My name is Mr. Murphy. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. How are you today? I'm feeling pretty, uh, good. Kinda, kinda, kinda positive. Uh, I believe, yeah, yeah as the children these days say, um, my, my emotions, uh, slap right now. That's, and, uh, very that's, bussin'. That's fantastic. Do your emotions slap right now, Kieran? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's been uh, pretty uh, good. I uh, hope mm. everybody that is listening to this podcast is also doing very good. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I must say, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, uh, Sean, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking once more about movies. This time, movies that aren't out, oh, but not to, f- be, not to be not to be confused. Movie? What's a movie? Oh, yeah. um, oh man, it's like, have you ever like, have you ever seen a TV show? Uh, I I seen the news. Okay, imagine it's like the news, but um, none of it happened, and it's like only like a f- an hour to three hours long usually. All right. Yeah. What were you saying anyway? Yeah. This is uh, about movies that aren't out yet. You might be thinking, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know, uh, 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 e-celebs, that um, uh, you already made a video on that topic uh, for the first episode. But no, these are these aren't these aren't these aren't unmade movies. These are movies that aren't out yet, but will be, or so uh, we think. Oh, I mean, oh, hopefully, yeah, they will be out. Yeah. The, the part, part part two unmade movies again. It's just <laughs> everything that was in this list. Yeah, but yeah, no. Um, there's quite a bit coming out. Um, yeah, like I, I think it's I think it's pretty crazy that like all these like multi billion dollar studios yeah. like make content. I think you know yeah, it's crazy. You wouldn't think they'd have the motivation, but like <laughs> look at them go. Yeah, <laughs> look at them go. All the uh, talent, all the people. All yeah, the, all the all the different stories that are about to be told. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, just for the sake sake of me, um, we have a, we're going to include TV shows in this yeah. uh, discussion because I am not looking forward to many things that are coming out. I'm one of these ungrateful baboons mm. that just doesn't really enjoy uh, some of the stuff that is being you know in the works right now i mean there are stuff that has come out that i was looking forward to and i did happen to enjoy uh but uh for now there isn't really much that i'm uh looking forward to but maybe hopefully mr murphy will uh be so uh great at selling uh the uh, movies and all of that and uh, get me happy and excited so yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing free promo basically for all these so you know if if, any, if anyone wants to come in and pay me you know the offer's there yeah um i suppose i will uh start um with uh the one i will talk about uh, because I don't have that many, and we can like go back and forth. Mm. And yeah, uh, first one up is uh, a sequel. Actually, uh, I know they make sequels now. They do actually. Wow, yeah. cool. Um, and it's actually a sequel to a, a movie uh, that usually people watch around Halloween. So 
Yeah. <gasps> Uh, it's called Hocus Pocus 2. Oh, I thought you were talking about a Christmas story. Like, that's my favorite Halloween film. But yeah, Hocus Pocus 2. I, um, I, I like the trailer from what I've seen. It, yeah. uh, it looks, uh, seems to be, uh, I guess it captures the spirit of the original, but, it uh. It does, yes. But it's, uh, you know, uh, evaluating on top of, uh, that kind of stuff. And it's, uh, kind of giving people more of that world and more, it's the same actresses once again mm-hmm. reprising their roles and it doesn't feel like a kind of a cash in thing it feels like genuinely that people will be excited to just see them again and it's what's great about it is it's a very simple concept it's uh, you know which is in the thing but it's such a fun concept that appeals to uh, any audience and for those audiences who haven't seen that original film will be able to watch a double feature now but for mm. people that uh, are fans of the original movie will have a continuation of that story and i'm just so happy that it's existing because i didn't expect it to exist i didn't expect it to actually happen i've heard for years and years rumors of it but now it's happening so I'm yeah, happy. it's uh, cra- crazy to look back on it like we once heard rumors about this, and now it's it's coming out in a couple months. It's, yeah, you know, yeah. No, I'm I'm time hugely, flies. I'm hugely excited for it, and even if it doesn't have any sort of uh, you know remember berries and cameos of people coming in and like oh oh hello or whatever. Um, I will still be on board because I think it's such uh, a great world uh, to be able to uh, be in and just, you know, experience it once again. And it looks funny and it looks charming. So I'm, I'm really excited. I like Halloween movies that appeal to families and appeal to that sort of demographic because... Mm. I just think they're genuinely like really really fun. So yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah, no, I agree uh, with everything you said. Pretty much, I also um, I, I do really like that they uh, got the original cast back for the witches. Like, if they didn't get them back, like uh, I don't think I I don't think I'd be sold on this film. But they did, so that definitely gives me uh, some good incentive. That's uh, for yeah. dizzy for getting that number. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker and uh, the, the, who's your who's oh no I forgot I forgot a name I feel bad yeah uh, apologies we, uh, I'll queen. I'll I'll work on the apology video once we're done um <laughs> yeah, but yeah but, but yeah no no I I agree uh, wholeheartedly with everything you said um yeah I mean I I definitely do hope there isn't too many cameos or anything you know like. It's just the witches going through a town, and then they got Acosta aside, and they get to, uh, and they get introduced to the uh, the Illuminati, which uh, comprised of all the Disney live action heroes from over the past few years. So we got, <laughs> yeah, we get, uh, we get, uh, we get Jack Sparrow, and then we get uh, the the the, twi- the twitches, the twitches, yeah. Um, we get some like Disney Channel stuff in there where we get the high school musical gang. We get uh, a Teddy Duncan. Teddy Duncan, yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully that won't happen. Yeah, no, I, I, I think uh, by cameos, I mean uh, cameos from the original movie. I, I think they're welcome though, but yeah. you know, not to overshine I, the story. I hope it feels like a genuine continuation of it rather than, you know, just a kind of run of the mill sort of thing. I hope it's. What it looks like to me is it looks like Ghostbusters Afterlife style. It kind of has that vibe to me. Yeah, and Ghostbusters Afterlife was uh, a film I definitely liked a lot. Um, I thought it slapped. I, I thought it was bussin'. Ghost bussin'. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I... Uh, I uh, yeah, I like, that, I like that film a lot. I think it uh, was a lot better than uh, I think a lot of people were expecting it to be. A lot yeah. better than I was expecting it to be. And yeah. yet, yeah. Um, it did slap. So, uh, yeah, do you have uh, any more final thoughts on Hocus Pocus 2? 
I guess not. Just like, just I hope I hope this is good enough to the point where it can become a Halloween mainstay along with the original. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be good. And if it sucks, I'm okay because I have that original uh, movie. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next up, I guess is is me, uh, and I have to mention a motion picture. Well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right in with what I think is uh, some peak cinema right here. Yeah. Uh, I am, you know, like back in 2021, like I was like right on the train, like before, like before all this like sweep business was even a thing. Like I was I was fully endorsing the Space Jam and New Legacy sweep. I thought it was true art. It was gonna win all the Oscars. Like I was wrong in the end, which you know was I wrong or was society wrong? You know, I think I was right. Like. I mean, LeBron James, best actor, like, best picture in general. Like, I mean, I could go on all day, but yeah, I was fully endorsing the Space Jam sweep. Of course, this year, I, have, I of course, along with many, was, in do, was, uh, bleh, was, was part of the uh, movement Morbius sweep. And uh, for 2023, you betcha, I'll be, like, rocking up right there, day one, and I'll be endorsing the Barbie sweep. Barbie? Barbie, Yeah. The Barbie movie? The Barbie movie, yeah. When I first heard about the Barbie movie, like, I heard Margot Robbie and uh, Ryan Gosling were in, and I was like, oh, man, that's two actors I love. Still not, still not going to go see this, though. And then, uh, then I heard Greta Gerwig was behind the film, and then I was just thinking, like, well, I mean, that, that that's odd. They're getting, like, someone, like, they're getting, like, an actual, like, good filmmaker behind this. But uh, I was still kind of like, eh. I mean, like, I, I mean, I never, I never had a connection to the Burby property when I was, when I was a youngin, but, uh, they're, like, more and more, like, good actors started getting attached to it, and then, like, I heard the plot and, and everything, like, they were just all set for, and, like, apparently, like, <laughs> and, like, it's gonna be, like, taking, like, some amount of influence from, like, the Truman Show, according to Marco's Robbie's I am, I, uh, Letterbox account, and it's just, like, I'm working about this, and where I'm just thinking, like, man, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go see this, aren't I? Because, <laughs> like, yeah... Like it's like it sounds like I've I've heard this comparison thrown out a lot. Like this could be like, like the Lego Movie in terms of like, in, in terms of the fact that like it should be a cash grab, but it's actually good. Yeah, um, I mean Will Ferrell was yeah. attached to that movie as well, and he's attached he was, to yeah. this one. Didn't so, actually realize that. Yeah, uh, I believe he's like playing the villainous character again. Yeah, <laughs> again he's playing the villain in it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um. It's definitely very interesting. I don't know if I'll actually initially go watch it, um, but I'm interested to see the re- reaction to it. Yeah. And um, if it's a good enough reaction, I'll, I'll probably check it out uh, on Netflix mm. or whenever it's out. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully I, I wish them the best. Um, and there's a lot of uh, wonderful talents attached to the project, which, you know, can be a good thing, but also it doesn't uh, mean anything, which I will get to later. Uh, but, you know, it's um, it's definitely very, very interesting uh, stuff. So, yeah, no, um, uh, they have uh, my hopes for it. But, yeah, <laughs> I'll be interested to hear uh, what you think, Sean. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, um, yeah, I'm also glad to see like Will Ferrell's in it because it's been a while since he's been in a really good movie, and I hope, uh, I hope this is this is one. Yeah, I liked the Eurovision one he did. Oh yeah, no, that was actually that was actually good. I forgot yeah. about that one. <laughs> yeah, no, that 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 one was uh, mm. one of his uh, better ones in uh, more recent years. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Um, yeah. and I think he's uh, very talented, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing. Uh, you know, hearing how he is in the movie and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. Um, again, like just yeah. <laughs> I'll also say, like I've seen like the set photos and everything, and like I love all the fucking like costume design, and everything. Like it's it's so camp, but I love it. Yeah, no, I, I think that's that's. Yeah. The, I think it's, it sets the tone a lot. Yeah, and uh, Margot obviously looks very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan does too. I mean, like. <laughs> Oh, of course. Yeah. He looks. He looks like. Uh, I mean, he 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 looks like a very mature like boy band member, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, I am disappointed that they don't have that Aqua Barbie 
girl song. Yeah, that. that's, I mean, I will admit, like, going into the film, like, I'll probably have to cry for 15 minutes beforehand <laughs> just to prepare myself for, like, it, and it, but hopefully it won't taint the, taint the experience too much. Yeah, yeah, no, it'd be great if the fan reaction was so uh, high Lion King 2019 style um, because that movie wasn't going to include Be Prepared, but fans spoke out and they were like, okay, we'll put it in. Mm. I can understand why they took it out now, but <laughs> yeah, it's um after seeing the movie, but yeah, no, it's um I think if with uh the bar like they could like I understand why it's not in it, and I understand it's it was supposed to be like a, a satire and a kind of a um a, a dialogue on the society of that, and it was supposed to be like a mockument. Uh, a, ma- 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 a mocking of it but um they could just play the chorus because it's so iconic but, yeah you know. they could do um they could do that thing like every movie trailer does seemingly now where they play like a slowed down like epic version of like a pop song which uh d- I, g- I don't know why i don't know why that's a trend like in so many trailers now but yeah they could do that it's like i'm a bobby girl it's like slow panning shots it's just like all the, and it's like like heavy drums, like in a bobby world. It's, I, I'm just, I'm giving you ideas, guys. Like, come on. It's fantastic. Wrapped in plaster. You can brush your hair. And dress me everywhere. In a world full of Barbies and Kens. There was one who was. A Barbie girl. She wanted only to be a Barbie girl. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on that film? Um. Again, hashtag Barbie sweep. Very nice. Uh, my next one is a film called Nope. That, that's that's very negative title. Why can't it be? Yep. Such bad vibes. Oh my god. Yeah, it's uh, from a director. Uh, I believe it's Jordan Peele. Is Jordan it? Jordan Peele. Yes. So yes. Keegan Key and Peele, and also Get Out and Us. Yeah. So he directed uh, those uh, city pictures, and now he's directing this city picture, and it looks mm. very very cool. It looks very interesting it looks very intense and it has uh sci-fi elements and elements of horror but of a genuine uh human uh com- capacity to kind of appeal to people and it, it just it looks very good i'm not gonna lie uh i had never heard of it and yeah it looks like something i'm very very interested in uh the trailer gave absolutely nothing away i have yeah uh, no uh kind of expectations just that I know that it's going to be a very, very interesting one. And even if the the twists are unsatisfying in any ways, I'll still enjoy what I see anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I love, uh, I love like, what they've been doing with the marketing now, like, keeping everything so secret. If it feels like, like, it feels like that, like, even though, it's like, I mean, obviously it's like, this is, like, also, like, that's the point of marketing get you up. Like the way they're like being so secretive about everything, it may seem like it's building up to some like event. And there's gonna be like yeah. some like big yeah. moment in cinema or yeah, something. Definitely. Which like even yeah. if it doesn't turn out to be that way, you know, good job on the marketing anyway, because it, it it that's what they're making it feel like. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> chair problems. Uh, yeah, chair problems. <laughs> I'm old. Um, so yeah, no, that's uh, that's it. I'm I'm just looking forward to it. It looks like a sci-fi movie that I'll enjoy, and uh, looks like a horror film that I'll enjoy. Yeah, so yeah. Of aliens and stuff like that. And I'm I'm up for it, and it looks uh, very very good. So yeah. Yeah. Any other uh, pieces of uh, cinema that you're looking forward to, Sean? Uh, pieces of cinema. Well, I'm. Uh Quite looking forward to this uh, upcoming film. We don't know a lot about it, but uh, the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. It's an upcoming. Oh, why couldn't they do it about tea? 
Uh, I'm hoping they do a spin-off like the wonderful story of Harold T. Yeah. And then uh, they collide together in a crossover event of tea and sugar. Tea and sugar, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, I, I hope they have that song from the B-movie, Sugar. Honey, do, honey. Do, 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 oh, honey, honey. Do, 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 that, do, that, yeah. Do. They, they should have that. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, but yeah, this is an upcoming film from Wes Anderson. He has, he has two films coming out this uh, in the near future. He's got this and he's got Asteroid City, which uh, I'm excited for Asteroid City as well. Not only because like I think the cast is great, but also like the title of the movie sounds like it sounds like a stage from Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. This is um, I mean, not one we know a lot about, but it's, it's directed by Wes Anderson, of course, and it also stars Benedict Cumberbatch, and it's based on the book of the same name by uh, Roald Dahl. And, of course, I'm sure many of you know uh, Wes Anderson uh, adapted Dahl's work uh, for Fantastic Mr. Fox, and that's uh, actually one of my favorite movies. So, again, like, if he, if, he gives this, if he gives this, like, the similar level of quality treatment, I think we're in for uh, some serious shit. Yeah, yeah, so, sounds really interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a uh, uh, fantastic. Mr. Fox is uh, in borderline comparison is fantastic. Mm. So yeah, no, so it sounds incredible. Some cool stuff. Yeah, some some good some good as I say, good shit. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> good shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I I am uh, interested to see that as well uh very interesting cast to touch touchly mm. and uh yeah just uh what's the basic premise of it actually I, i'm not sure what it's oh about. i should have looked this up before i started <laughs> oh did you not read the you know attached to that rodell book or? uh no i haven't actually read it i would uh, i would actually like to before it comes out though okay. to yeah. read it because i haven't yeah. ever done it before despite right. like like i yeah. loved his books as a, as a young and yeah um, same yeah, no, that's... I mean, we basically just have, like, the premise and, if, and people attached, but, you know, based on that alone, I am I am looking forward to this a lot. That's uh, about all I have to say about, I guess. Uh, yeah, any yeah. Closing thoughts from you? Uh, not really. Uh, just I hope that they have that song in it, and mm-hmm. I, I'm hoping that the uh, Wes Anderson uh, re- really gets good casts. Mm-hmm. Or his movie, so I'm hoping that there's a couple of more surprises in there that we haven't had announced yet uh, for uh, the overall cast of the film. So yeah, uh, that's that's about it uh, mm. for me on the what is it? The tale of Henry Sugar. The wonderful story of Henry Sugar. Oh yeah, okay. The next one is a really really interesting one. And this is where I go to television. The small screen. And the Netflix. And it's the third season of a television show called Lock and Key. Lock and Key is a very, very good uh, TV series. It's one that has appealed to me. It's very... Uh, supernatural horror mixed with fantasy mixed with drama mixed with a lot of uh, relatability in the sense of uh, what uh, he, uh, you know kids go through and uh, not just kids but you know uh, ones under the age of 18 and all of that and it's it's really really uh, deals with a lot of uh, stuff it deals with relationships and genuinely is just a very very good intense show and this one apparently is the final season which i find very very interesting i I just i adored uh season one but season two for me was so much better i think but I, i just adore all of it i think it's uh really 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 good uh i love the cast i love uh, everything to do with it it's just really really well done and uh even though season two was like shot like during the pandemic it didn't really feel like it was it felt very 
natural. Uh, although there was like a couple of times where. Hold on. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take. I'll take. I'll take some. Uh, Sorry, guys. No, it's all good. Cool, cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thanks, million. And well, days if you want more. Yeah. Or even this. Thank you. Thanks, then. I appreciate that. That's the ice cream man just coming in there now. <laughs> I'll I'll cut it out. Don't worry. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm just really, really looking forward to lock and key. I think they've. Uh, really hit it out of the park and if it's anywhere near at the level of uh, the first two seasons then we have a lot to look forward to a lock to look forward to a lock to look forward to yeah I just I love it I, I, I really really do there's not really much else to say I just hope that you know when it, without spoiling it I, I can't really it's very hard to explain the plot without spoilers but basically what it is our, a family moves into a uh, sort of a mansion, a house called the Lock House, because the last name is Lock, and it's uh, the home of their father who had passed away, and I believe his brother uh, lives there with them, and he's a genuine enough chap, and it's uh, three kids, uh, the mother and uh, the brother. Uh, of uh, the deceased father and they find these keys that kind of speaks to them, the kids do and uh, yeah, uh, Havoc just goes from there as uh, the youngest one finds a lady in a well who has some mysterious tricks up her sleeve and has dark uh, things that have to do with the father and other stuff going on and a lot of sinister uh, triumph is among them and lots are revealed so yeah uh, yeah. If, if it's of any interest uh, I'd recommend checking it out and uh, uh, hopefully season 3 is a good one and it ends off with a bang so yeah Really yeah, looking forward to it. I've not seen Lock and Key myself, but you do a great job uh, selling it to me. Yeah, no, I, I was trying to do it without spoiling it mm. too much, but yeah, that's basically the uh, premise of season one. So yeah, and uh, even though it was shot during the pandemic, like, there was a couple of things where uh, some actors weren't showing up and stuff, but it kind of fit well with the story because the acting was so well. Like, there's a character that uh, betrays. Uh, to and I believe in my kind of head canon of the way the pandemic was, I believe that one of the actors wasn't supposed to be there for that long, and it was supposed to like interchange. But since they they didn't have uh, maybe that actor or actress for much, then you know that, that you know that that's just my own head canon thinking. Mm. But it a might theory. be something. It might be something else. But yeah, no, I I thought it was just it worked well for the story, and it really they did a good job. And uh, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to, and I'm just sad that it's the last season because I really enjoyed being with these characters and seeing them grow and uh, find new experiences. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing where this last uh, season will uh, take. Take us, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's very good. Uh, I, I hope you get everything you want out of it. And if I don't, I you will see me with red eyes crying because the pro the prop the problem with lock and key season three video essay three hours and eighteen minutes. Yes, 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 John. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's about it from me. Uh, that's all I'm looking forward to. Nothing else has really stood out to me. Damn. I've seen everything that I really wanted to see this year. Yeah, no, this year specifically, I think, um, I think like a lot of the stuff I was I was looking forward to, it either got delayed to twenty twenty three or it already just came out by now. So yeah, yeah, there's only like a few things left that I'm that interested in. Like even then, like not as much as some of the other stuff coming next year. Yeah, 
But yeah, next up uh, for me is another TV show this time. It's the upcoming um, Untitled, I believe, Megamind TV show for uh, Peacock. Uh, I, I don't I don't know if it'll be on a different service in uh, in, in in this part of the world, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, DreamWorks have done a bunch of TV shows at this point. Like they they did like the, all the How to Train Your Dragon stuff, and they did like the Puss in Boots stuff, and they they did a Trolls one, like a Boss one. They, they do this a lot anyway. Like yeah. I'd say, I'd say like pretty, pretty much like all the like newest films I like, get one at this point. But um, yeah, yeah, they're going back a bit with Mega Mind now, and uh, that's kind of why I'm excited for it because like mm. Mega Mind's like I mean it's like it's a number of years old at this point, and also it's. Uh, like, I wouldn't say it's not popular or anything, of course, not, but, like, it's not, like, to the point of, like, something like uh, Shrek or even, like, Madagascar, where it's, like, it's popular to the point where, like, it doesn't even need a new movie coming out to, like, justify, like, making yeah, a TV that, series. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So the fact that, like, that they are going back and doing a series for this, like, even, like, with a relative lack of popularity, it, that makes me feel like they wouldn't be going back to do this, like, unless they had an actual good idea for it. Yeah, no, I I agree with that. Um, I I just I hope that they get it together. You know what I mean? That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, that they do a good job. But I don't know. I find it hard to kind of be excited for something like this. Uh, sometimes and yeah, I'm I'm just hoping that it's good. Um, I'm hoping that it's uh, you know, on. Uh, the level of that first film and they really put enough thought into it it's just sometimes it doesn't feel like they're doing that with uh, some of the stuff that they make but um yeah i'm just uh, i just hope that it's good i i I just fingers crossed that's all i can hope for yeah same That's, that's all i can say uh they also like said like one detail about it is like kind of like like, they're going to have it be, like, where Megamind is, like, going to try and become, like, quote-unquote an influencer. And if it was, like, if it was, like, any other thing, like, I'd see, like, that influencer thing and I'd think, like, that's that's terrible. Like, why are you doing that? But, like, I actually don't even mind it with this one because, like, in all fairness, like, it's 100% in character, like, for Megamind that he he would try to, like, make a make a vlog channel off of this and, like, some TikToks off of this superheroing business. Yeah, yeah. Like, I fully believe that's in character for him, so I don't even mind it. Yeah, I, I just hope that... Um they bring Will back and they bring David back. Oh. That, that's because then it just feels like a different character, and I I'm I'm interested because it's the same writers. That's what really interests me. Yeah. Um. I just hope it's uh, at the same level of or a similar level to the animation of that first film. Uh. You know, just because kids need that. You know what I mean? They yeah. they deserve uh good. Uh, content and media and people that are fans of that original film deserve something like that so yeah 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 I, I agree with that a lot um hopefully like yeah the animation wise it's at least on Poe it's something like uh troll hunters yeah and they don't yeah. like cheap out on it yeah so another DreamWorks series that's coming out is um Kung Fu Panda Legend of the Dragon Warrior it's called the Dragon Knight, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, and uh, I never meant to hurt you like this. Um, to be honest, it has uh the return of Jack Black as the voice of Bob, yeah. which I I I'm excited for. It. That's what has me interested the most. And what's really interesting is the guy for Legends of Awesomeness didn't do a bad job at actually playing Poe. I thought he did no, a really, really good job. But um, I'm just happy it is Jack Black back as uh, the character. Um, genuinely, I'm just I'm kind of thrown off because the Furious Five don't seem to be present and Shifu doesn't seem to be present. Um, I know Mr. Pig is in it, that's great, but I feel like those characters are such an essential part to Poe's legacy, and for Poe's character, I feel like they're 
as much a part of it as Poe is. And I know it is Poe's story. And that was my complaint with the third one. How little the Furious Five were actually in that movie. And how the Panda Village kind of took over uh, the premise of that sort of thing. But this feels more like, you know, the Dragon Knight as in, you know, Poe's uh, journey with this... uh, Wandering Blades, uh, uh, Bonnie, I think. I don't know what mm. uh, Rita Ora is voicing the character, which yeah, I don't runs. really have. A, I don't really have a problem with that. Neither do I. But it is. It is surprising. It is surprising, but you know, I don't really have a huge uh, problem with that. At least it's not Cardi B. Um, mm. or something like that. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's um, it's interesting. Um. I'm just, I'm going to wait for the reaction uh, to it. Um, Because, like, there's nothing about the premise that's kind of attracting me to it. You know what I mean? Mm. Because, yes, it's got more Kung Fu Panda, which I'm excited for. But I really, really, what would get me jumping up and down in my seat and literally screaming in the microphone is if they confirmed Kung Fu Panda 4 with uh, the original cast back. But, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I definitely have to agree um, on the lack of the Furious 5. That is one of my um, that is my main issue with it so far, because, like, I, I know, I feel like... I feel like, like they're kind of too essential to the Kung Fu Panda, that, like, without them, it, it feels a bit wrong. Yeah, it, I, I'm hoping that they're saving it for a surprise maybe in the last episode or something i could see like a last episode cameo yeah which i mean like i i, I take that over nothing yeah and uh hopefully the story serves so well and i hope that they don't uh re- replace tigress with this uh rita or character you know i no. hate that, that that would make me very upset you would upset us the tigress fandom yeah um, Do so, not fuck with the Tigress fandom. No one talks, fucks with the Tigress fandom, Sean. Yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping for uh, something, you know, along the lines of uh, that sort of media, you know what I mean? I, I just, hopefully it's good. I'm, I'm just hoping. I have my fingers crossed, and I hope that they do a good job. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all I can really say about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, it's coming out soon enough anyway, so we'll know in the near future how good or bad it is. But uh, yeah, hopefully good. Uh, hopefully good. Uh, speaking of uh, Jack Black in uh, voice acting roles, um, <laughs> this next one's one like... I don't think it'll be great. Um, I think it'll be at least okay, despite some questionable choices already made but um yeah the upcoming illumination um mario film uh that's super mario not mario rosenstock <laughs> uh, i know I, I know everyone was so confused about that um but yeah this upcoming mario film uh when it was announced caused quite the uh the shock wave on 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 the uh on the digital realm uh they've confirmed uh chris Prash, of course as mario which uh Lot of people, di- lot, 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 lot of people have issues with, and uh, I, I agree. Like he'd be probably my uh, seven hundredth choice for the role. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, right after Boris Johnson. Right after Bar, yeah, I would have. Lo- I mean, Boris Johnson, Mary, like I mean, that'd be iconic. To be honest, like uh, he's, he's, I mean, he, like he, I mean, he, he, he. he I, I don't know where to take that bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then uh, Chris Pratt is Mario, of course. Uh, then we got like we got Anya Taylor Joy as Peach, which that which I mean I actually think that's yeah, good casting. That, that that works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that one works. They did a they did a good job there. Uh, after that, it it gets weird, not as weird as Chris Perry, but still weird. Like, okay, we have Jack Black as Bowser. I can see it. I don't know if I like it, but I can see it. Yeah. We have we have Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to that one. <laughs> yeah, like I hope he does the laugh in it uh, at some point. That'd actually be like that actually be like gold. And then they have uh, 
They have Keegan Michael Key as Toad, and uh, honestly, like I think that one's actually dumber than uh, Chris Chris Pratt, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't know where they're gonna take Toad with this perf- and uh, with this iteration, but yeah, I, that's 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 uh, that's uh, that's a questionable choice indeed. But yeah, um, like another one where like uh, so much of this, since we just know the cast. Like, so much of this is going to be dependent on, like, the first trailer, like, how I'm feeling about it soon enough, which we should be getting, like, the first trailer soon. Like, it was going to come out in December, and then it got, like, pushed back to, like, spring. Mm. But, like, even still, like, most anime films, like, start, like, rolling stuff out, like, yeah, no, a year or Hopefully events. soon, hopefully soon. Yeah, because, um, like, even if, like, even if you don't think this is going to be good, like, you can't deny, like, you you got to be, like, very curious based on the premise. Yeah, I'm curious, but I really hate this cast i really mm. i think it's uh one of uh the most kind of misguided casts i think it's uh really uh really poor choices for the characters mm. um you did mention is it charlie day as luigi oh yeah charlie day is luigi Jeez, yeah, yeah. I, that. I, I don't necessarily have a problem with chris pratt as mario that's not really my main issue i've never seen charlie day in anything so i don't really have an issue with that my issue is specifically Bowser, Toad, and Donkey Kong. Um, now, I don't mind Donkey Kong being in the movie. I love that character. I, I'm i not sure about Seth Rogen voicing him. I hope it's more that he kind of does a lot of just gorilla noises <laughs> rather than, you know, actually, you know, having like a full on speaking role. Because yeah. I, you know, I prefer Donkey Kong to be uh, more like the uh, two or three words uh, every, like, maybe ten minutes or something character, uh, rather than, you know, actually having, like, full conversations, which doesn't really appeal uh, to me as, you know, a lifelong fan of that specific character. Um, I genuinely think... Keegan Michael Key and Jack Black should have swapped. I think that would have made more sense. <laughs> no, like if you listen to it, because uh, Toad is very much sort of, you know, Jack Black has a bit of a high voice for that character. I feel like he could do it. Like Keegan Michael Key's voice is very low, and I, he did the voice in the Dark Crystal. Uh, he did one of the Skeksis, and he was amazing at that. So I think that would have been perfect. Uh, genuinely I think the only like perfect casting and he probably would have been cheaper is Connor and Vernon if you don't know who Connor and Vernon is Connor and Vernon did the voice of Pinocchio in Shrek and uh, he would have been the perfect toad oh that would have been perfect yeah no it literally it would have been like spot on um but yeah uh, I'm not looking forward to it but I'm curious I'm curious to see what they do I hope that it's good. I know it's Illumination. Um, look, I know a lot of people love Despicable Me. I'm very kind of... Um, it's hit or miss for me, to be honest. I, I enjoy some bits, and then other bits I'm not too keen on. But I can enjoy them, mm. you know. Um, and some of the movies I don't think are brilliant, but some of them... Like particularly the first one and maybe the second one, like kind of, I can enjoy them. But yeah, that's uh, basically my kind of uh, thoughts on it. Uh, on Mario, I'm not look, looking forward to it, but I'm curious, and I hope that it's uh, at least appealing, and hopefully it's charming, and hopefully it adds uh, to the Mario legacy. And even if it is different, that's fine to me. I know that the live action one was very very different. Uh, for some people for the worst reasons but I'm just you know I'm, I'm just you know this just has me curious that's all that's, yeah I'm that's, mostly curious I do think it'll be yeah. at least like okay for like family films like uh, I, do actually, I, do, I do actually like the first two Despicable Me films quite a lot and uh, you know I think they're very good like they're very good family films and then everything else they've made is like 
Like, I mean, okay, I don't think, like, they're actually terrible. Like, a lot of people, like, say, like, a lot of people, like, would say, like, they're actively, like, they make terrible films. I think, for the most part, they make just, like, forgettable ones. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. like, The Secret Life of Pets or something. Like, I yeah. barely remember that. Uh, yeah, same with, like, Sing for a lot of stuff. And, like, yeah, and, I, I, don't, I don't think it'll be terrible. Like... Yeah, I don't think they made terrible movies. I think they yeah. just make movies that appeal to uh, some audiences, but don't uh, resonate uh, as much and stand the test of time as uh, something like Inside Out or The Journey of Dragon or uh, Kung Fu Panda, for that matter. So, mm. uh, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, this is fire and hopefully they do a good job. And I feel like with the commentary now, with uh, a lot of uh, social issues kind of uh, being uh, brought into um, a lot of uh, media for uh, good and for bad, but uh, mostly for good, in my opinion. I think there's uh, a lot of uh, respectfulness and a lot of inclusivity, inclusivity, fuck, inclusivity and equality into uh, media and stuff like that. I feel like there's going to be. I hope they do it in a good way with uh, the Peach character because uh, obviously Alia Taylor Joy in the f- past has uh, portrayed really really strong female characters. So yeah. I feel like they're gonna do uh, something. They're gonna tweak uh, Peach to be uh, part of the crew, hopefully. Yeah, I hope uh, for that than, too. I'd be like, if she was like, yeah. she had to be rescued, I'd find that disappointing. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they'll make commentary on that and yeah. probably joke about that, but I hope they do it in a good way and not a way that's too cheeky. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hope they. I hope they have one scene where. Um, I hope they have one scene where like Peach goes up to Mario and um, tells him off a mansplaining, then uh, pushes him on the ground and steps on his balls. I think that will enhance the story very good in a very positive way. Uh, would you agree with that? Um. And, uh, and Chris yeah. Brett Mario can say, like, uh, me balls. D- did you write Batwoman? Maybe. Yeah. I was wondering. Um, yeah. yeah. He's a feminist. Yeah. I, I, every time I see a man on the street, like, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a full-blown misandrist. I, like, I, I kill men. You're one of the good ones, though. As am I. Thanks. Wow. Sorry, right, sorry about that. Going out of the yeah, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no. J- j- joking aside, um, yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, Peach is good in the movie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And hopefully, the movie as a whole is uh, is actually good. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's uh, it's appealing and uh, all of that. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, seems like there's a good few like game video game movies coming down now like there's like a borderlands movie coming out which like i'm curious about as well like directed by yelly roth remember correctly and there's also uh something i think both of us uh, we're both quite uh, looking forward to is uh sonic 3 oh yes this is yeah. sonic is in sonic the hedgehog not as in the screwdriver or yeah. the american fast food chain yeah no uh sonic 2 uh sonic 2 was uh really really interesting i had a good time with it and uh, as did you, and yeah, Sonic Three looks sounds appealing. Uh, Shadow is more than likely going to be in it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting, and I hope that it's uh, on the level of the previous two. Um, I'm really interested to uh, know whether Jim Carrey is going to be attached or not. Yeah, and I wonder how they're going to uh, play on that. I'm yeah, just curious about that because he announced like he announced Sonic Two was going to be his last film, but and maybe this wishful thinking he announced that on April Fool's Day, and it's like, like I I could believe he, that if he wants to retire at this point, but like also like I'm I'm, I'm holding on to that bit of hope like he was he was just he was just as they say doing a little bit of trolling, doing a little trolling, uh, pulling a haha teehee on the public, but uh, yeah yeah. I don't know. I hope, like, I feel like, yeah, they set it up enough at the end of Sonic Two where like they don't need him for the story. But like also, like, I feel like he's like he's like the best part of the films, though. So like without him, it, it wouldn't quite be the same. Yeah, that's true. But um, 
Like I think it'd be, I think it'd still be fine without him. But like, yeah, uh, yeah. It, 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 he's just great in the first two. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, uh, I hope that they get a good voice actor for Shadow. I yeah, think, I think that'd be uh, really. I think we need that. So yeah, um, I'm thinking if they want to like cast an A-list to like, I've seen people like like putting like audio from the Batman over clips of Shadow in the games, and it's like they work too well. So I'm thinking definitely a Robert Pattinson's your your best bet for that. Yeah, or Christian Bale, I think would do a good. Job. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I want to see how Christian Bale would method act for Shadow. Oh yeah, yeah, he he wear like a black. He'd he'd, he'd wear a furry suit every time he enters the booth. Yeah. Uh, that would be very entertaining. I agree. I agree. Um, I'm also expecting like they added like because for the first Sonic movie they like they teased Tails and then like they added Tails and Knuckles. So I'm expecting like since they teased Shadow. Um, oh, and spoiler alert for Sonic Two, I guess. But um, since they teased Shadow at the end of Sonic Two, though, I'm expecting like they'll have Shadow and Amy in this one. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, and uh, I, I. I mean, I, I would I would hope for that because uh, she's basically like the last like big like iconic character, I guess from from like Sonic that like isn't in them yet. So yeah, it'd be a bit weird without her. But uh, yeah. yeah, 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 that'd be really really interesting. Um, I suppose speaking of Christian Bale, I want to touch on a movie that I was kind of skeptical about it. It's a David O. Russell movie. It's called Amsterdam, mm. and it stars everyone. Everyone, yeah. You're in it. You, the viewer, are in this movie. Yeah, even if you don't know. Uh, so there's Christian Bale, Rami Malek, Chris Rock, uh, John David Washington, Taylor Swift, Robert De Niro, Anya Taylor-Joy, Margot Robbie, and I think it's, about, it's a couple of other people. Mike Myers, right? Mike Myers, yeah. That's madness. And uh, yeah, uh, the trailer came out the other day, actually. Oh, nice. Um, I didn't actually see that. I only, I only heard about this film like a couple of days ago. Yeah. From you. <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm surprised I didn't catch on to it. Yeah. And uh, and I didn't actually know who David O. Russell was. And then I saw that he directed American Hustle, who also starred Christian Bale. Mm. But um, the reason I'm not, like very skeptical about it now uh, is because I saw a kind of... A, um, I saw a thing about American Hustle and how uh, some of the women on that set found it hard, especially someone like Amy Adams. But, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, hopefully it's, there's not shady stuff going on yeah. uh, on this set. Uh, but other than that, I've also heard about, uh, you know, from keyboard warriors that roam the comment section and that there have been test screenings of it and apparently they weren't very good Uh. Um, but you know you can't really you have to take that with a grain of salt you know Mm. what I mean because you don't know and like the test screenings as well like they're not really they're not meant to be finished yeah that's true and with it as well like there was you know, if you look at some of the scenes in the movie, it looks like they're only in that scene, but I'm not sure uh, if, you know, it could be just the way the trailer is edited or whatever, but it looks like some of the actors aren't in it, uh, even though they're credited. Like, I think definitely Taylor Swift is probably in one scene because she's yeah. not in any other scene except for when they mention her in the cast, you know, when they have the title card pop up and stuff. Uh, she's only in that one shot, so uh, hopefully, um, ho- hopefully the story is interesting though. Uh, it it seems to be uh, Chris Rock. Uh, no, not Chris. is it John David Washington, Christian Bale, Margot as like the main kind yeah. of crew. So uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it is, but I, I don't know. I'm just very skeptical about it, but hopefully it's uh, good. Yeah, I've also I did hit the same kind of like shitty shit about like David O. Russell, so yes. like that does uh, that that does taint the experience of it. But hopefully, uh, something good is made out of this. I, I mean, I heard American Hustle was good. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that there's that there's that to go off of. 
Yeah, and uh, he also did several silver linings playbook or something like that oh, he did yeah, that I, I believe so um yeah hopefully it's um hopefully it's good but uh yeah i'm just uh, very skeptical uh very optimistic about it uh but i'm sure christian bell and uh all of our wonderful uh uh lovely cast will be very good on it, especially miss taylor joy and miss robbie and all yeah. of that so uh yeah no it's um it's really interesting as well because uh bale has he's look he's looking very skinny and yeah it's like he does that a lot he likes to transform and it's really interesting because he's really heavy in american hustle so mm. he's like transforming transforming himself and really getting into the roles and stuff so i'm like really interested is he gonna like continue down his path like where is he gonna go next? You yeah, know what I mean. That, that has to be. I mean, I don't know like what his routines for all this stuff, but like, bro, that has to be like taxing to do that for like every role. Yeah, I, I wonder is he gonna play a woman in the next Christmas? Oh man, movie? he take his method acting to new levels there. Yeah, or uh, is he gonna be like what is it, Billy Madison with Adam Sandler, where he's gonna play a kid and he's gonna wear oh. like a baseball cap <laughs> in school? He's gonna he's gonna play a kid and he's he's gonna he's he's gonna like. He's gonna like look up like time and magic powers himself, so he can like reverse aging, so he can like properly play a child in an upcoming movie. Yeah. No, but I I genuinely think like he's gonna like go to like a school uh, full of kids <laughs> to like method act, and he's gonna like sit with like a baseball cap. Jesus. And like he's just gonna be acting like a kid, and he's gonna talk like it. I I feel like he. That's that's yeah. uh that's a very uh unique image or uh he'd go like if he was playing a woman he'd go more sensitive and uh he'd uh, go to like you know those uh baby pregnancy kind of oh my god he would go. go to one of them and just study everyone <laughs> yeah. yeah i feel yeah. like if any actor would do that i feel like christian Bale would probably do it. would be him <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it would be really interesting to like have a documentary about Bale getting ready for roles and these are the kind of experiences that he has I think it would be really interesting yeah he should I mean he should have like should like should like he, he could like he could turn that into a vlog channel you know like get get on the YouTube grind Bale 72 hours it's just 70, 72 hours sleep live stream <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, I'm sure there are people who'd line up for that. Yeah. What would uh, the Bale in school uh, movie? It would be like, uh, not Billy Madison, but it would be like, I don't know, what would you call it? Um, Little Charlie. Yeah, Little Charlie. <laughs> Little Charlie, but it's that's, Christian Bale that, with a baseball cap. That does cap. sound like a Happy Madison film. Yeah, Little Charlie, but it's Christian Bale with a baseball cap, smiling and with like a juice box and like a skateboard. Yeah, and uh, God, what else? And, uh, and light up shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Got his sketches on. <laughs> light up shoes. Yeah. Uh, He's like uh, jumping on the um, the you know the the benches and stuff, and like there's like security guards giving out to him and stuff. Like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Glenn Close is his mom. Yeah. Um, oh man. <laughs> this this is Oscar winning stuff right here. This is, you know? Yeah, this is like. <laughs> oh, Rob Schneider would be in it as well. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Didn't we say that for Face Off too? Actually, that they should just get Chris or uh, they should get Nicolas Cage as uh, the son of Nicolas Cage from the first <sighs> movie. They, they but should. They shouldn't de-age him or anything. Just no. have Nicolas Cage wear a hat, and, like a really, <laughs> a really, really big oversized T-shirt, <laughs> and like be walking out with his Nintendo DS, and like. Prompt himself on the couch with like a lollipop in his mouth and stuff. Yeah, yeah just Oscar winning stuff, really. Oscar winning stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, speaking of, uh, yeah, speaking of uh, films that have some like real life drama potentially behind them, um, 
The Flash is coming out, and I'm gonna focus on the film for the Flash. Like I don't even yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's I, perfectly fine. I don't even want to talk about the real life situation behind it. But yeah, the Flash. Yeah, um, there, there's so much of that kind of stuff going on. Yeah. There's enough people on the internet already talking about it's, it. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like by the time this gets uploaded, something new might have come out. This is just like I'm not gonna talk. About it. I'm just gonna yeah, talk about but, the, the film. Yeah, I'll just mention quickly though if you're interested to have something like that go to a different channel. Uh, there's plenty of that online so if mm. you don't know about it uh you can uh look that up yeah uh, no loads yourself. loads of discussions about that already yeah um anyway uh flash we try to be new yeah um i think all things considered even with how much it's been delayed i'm still pretty positive on the film i think like yes i'm optimistic enough it will be at least enjoyable um like, yeah, there was always, like, rumors, like, coming out that it was, like, it was going to, like, reset the DCU somehow, and, like, that stuff I didn't like. But yeah. it's, like, even then, like, I'm not sure if I want to believe that or not, because, like, yeah, Like, I mean, that's all speculation anyway, so, like, I hope it's not true, but, like, at the same time, like, just based off what we do know is coming, um, you know, it's kind of like Ben Affleck again, which, like, it's been, I mean, okay, not counting the Snyder Cut, it's been, like, a long time since we've seen him, uh, as Batman, and I'm excited to uh, see him again alongside Michael Keaton. Which uh, the Keaton stuff, I'm interested in. Again, more in the more, I'm more curious than excited necessarily. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm wondering, like how they're gonna like do him when he when, like he when because like he's like he's like old at this point. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I'm wondering, like, are they gonna like incorporate that somehow? But like, also, it will be kind of cool to like get like a little like peek back into that uh into that uh the Burton it, verse. The Burton verse, yeah. That, that's what, yeah, kind of like, uh, you know, with, like, No Way Home and uh, how, like, it felt like we got, like, we got to see more of uh, the uh, the Raimi-verse and, uh, the, I guess, the Web-verse. Yeah. Um, yeah, and obviously that's, like, the obvious comparison everyone's had to No Way Home, even though I think, like, I think they were, like, planning on, like, bringing Keaton back even before that, so, yeah, uh, I, I, guess, I guess, yeah, I guess that they both just happen to have the same idea, but, yeah, um, I think as well, like, I... I think, like, Barry Allen, um, based on, like, his appearances in Justice League, I actually really liked the character a lot, um, and I would go see a solo film of him, definitely. Um, I think they probably should have, like, done a Flash movie before Justice League, honestly. Like, after BVS, but before Justice League, I think that would have been, uh, I think that would have been the best way to go, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because especially because, like, by the time you get to Justice League, like, he's already, like, been doing this thing for a while so it's already implied there's like there is story to be told here that like we weren't shown and you could yeah. have done that in his own film but yeah it, it is what it is what's coming anyway but yeah um and i think it's like it's well it's like with the flash it's like he's uh like he's got to be like maybe like the most like at this one like the most like recognizable superhero that hasn't had a, like a solo film yet like live action at least he's had like animated stuff of course so um, it it feels like at this point like it's earned, I guess, to come out <laughs> like. If it yeah, feels yeah, like, no, feels like no, I agree very with that. overdue. Yeah. yeah, no, I I'd agree with that. Um, I've heard it's actually there's been, uh, people that have seen it, uh, from screenings and stuff, and they've said it's actually really good, and mm. they're re Warner Brothers are actually really really happy with the movie and. They think they really have a really, really good hit on their hands. I'm really looking forward to it because not only is it Keaton, is it Affleck, uh, but it also has the introduction of a new Supergirl. Yeah. And it also has General Zod and... Yeah, Michael his, Shannon. Yeah, Michael Shannon and uh, his... Uh, friend, uh, I can't remember her name, uh, but yeah, no, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, apparently Tamora Morrison is going to be in it as well as really uh, Arthur's dad. Yeah, apparently oh, that's shit. That, I, didn't, I didn't even know about that. Jeez, yeah, now, no, now I'm excited. Yeah, I've heard about that. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. You know, there's just rumors going around at this stage. Yeah, but um. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really really interesting. Um, I've been always looking forward to this movie, especially when I heard about the people attached 
uh, it really it feels weird to call it a flash movie, especially with all the like Batman and Supergirl and stuff kind of attached to it. Yeah, it would have made sense if there was you're right a, a flash movie before the Justice League called the Flash, and then mm. after Justice League to for this to be the second Flash movie. Yeah, it would make more sense. But you know what? Um, I'm gonna take it. Um, I think it sounds really really interesting. I'm really interested in it. But I kind of losing patience and I'm losing a lot of uh, resilience because this was supposed to come out years ago. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just hope that you know, with all this stuff going on, that it actually does get a release because if they if they say yeah, we're not gonna release the movie, it's too much. And like hmm. after all the hard work that went into it, it's like I think like the budget now is like two hundred million dollars. So like I feel like one way or another, like they're gonna release it because they like, yeah, they don't want all that to go for nothing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and yeah. see. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's. I think my idea is like, is it like, my idea is like you know they're gonna go with all this like multiverse stuff, and I'm just thinking like. No, if they really want to go with the multiverse stuff, like, go all the way, here's my pitch. Um, I think it should open up on a scene of Batman talking to Michael Keaton. Ben Affleck, Batman, talking to Michael Keaton. And Affleck says, he goes on this big speech, on that day, seven years ago, it was Batman v Superman. And we, and we, and we were witness to the dawn of justice. And then Michael Keaton has to go, like, it's crazy that there's, like, so many other Batman around this universe. I thought I was the only one, but for all I know, I could be Batman number 1,989. And then Robert Pattinson shows up, and he says, Yeah, what the hell, guys? I thought I was the Batman. And then Christian Bale shows up, and he says, Yeah, at this point, it's hard to even know where Batman begins. And then Val Kilmer shows up, and he says, Yeah, man, at this point, it just seems like it's Batman forever. And then George Clooney shows up, and he says, Man, you're all so lonely. Like, when I go out there fighting crime, it's Batman and Robin. And then, oh yeah, sorry. Well, and, and 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 then Batman from Batman the animated series shows up, and he says, "Sorry, I'm late, guys. I was just looking through some old stuff. Look what I found: the Mask of the Phantasm." <laughs> and then Batman from Titans shows up, and he says, "Sorry, guys, I'm late. I was just like on my phone watching Attack on Titan. Look at these look at these creatures here. They're called Titans." And then, after that, Keanu Reeves' Batman from the upcoming League of Super Pets shows up, and he says, Sorry, I'm late, guys. I was just dealing with some stuff with the League of Super Pets. And then the child Batman from Gotham, child Bruce Wayne, shows up, and he says, Man, what, what's going on here? Like, I thought uh, last time I was here, I was in Gotham. And then... <laughs> and then the Batman from the Arkham City games shows up, and he says, like, Sorry, I'm late, guys. I was just in Arkham Asylum, then City. And then, after that... Oh, after 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 all that, we get a panning shot to the Flash, and he's just like looking at all these Batman going on right here, and he's just like looking on, saying like, "Man, I wonder if there's any of the Flashes out there." And then he looks behind him, and he sees Grant Gustin Flash show right up to his doorstep, and he says, "Hey there, sorry I'm late. I was busy studying archery. You could say I'm very arrow versed." And then the movie ends. That was perfect. Yeah. Thank you for that. That was that was amazing. Yeah. Um I'm very interested. Uh is uh Lego Batman gonna be in the end credit scene? Oh yeah, no, after credit scene, um after credit scene it sets up the uh Kevin Conroy I can't guy's name. Kevin Conroy, Batman, uh Keanu Reeves Batman, then Will Annette Batman all team up. And um Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I hope uh, no, I I don't know about this, but I hope that they put the Arrowverse even as like a little references here and there in the Flash movie. I think that'll be nice. Well, yeah, well they already kind of like did it with uh, the Ezra Miller cameo when uh, in the uh, yeah, yeah, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, Earth. but I'd I'd like to see it in one of the movies. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, like uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Melissa Benoist in the, the mm. Flash movie. I, I think that'll be cool. I don't know. I think it'd be my learned. I mean, she's been the character for a long time, so. I don't know, it'd yeah. be cool. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, any other movies? Uh, any other movies, let me think now. Uh, yeah, so there's... Um, 
there's an upcoming uh, animated film uh, releasing uh, quite soon in the near future. It's called, uh, I hope I'm getting this right, uh, Suzume no Tojimali. And um, it's directed by uh, an anime director known as Market of Shinkai. Uh, he's directed a bunch of films, but uh, you would most likely know him for uh, the films Your Name and uh, Weathering With You. Okay, yeah. Which... Yeah. Uh, you know, very acclaimed, of course. I've yeah, seen the, I've seen the trailer for uh, Susan May Notta Jamari, and um, I gotta say, it looks exactly like his other films. But also, for me, that's uh, not for a the good. For yeah, the for the good reasons, yeah. it looks exactly like his other films. Um, and yeah, there's a trailer that's obviously like got beautiful visuals, as always with him. And uh, it just, I mean, it it just it looks like it's gonna be like his usual brand of like very, you know, very very touching films and everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's that sounds yeah. really really good. Uh, I really enjoyed your name. Yeah. Um. So I'm uh, interested to hearing your thoughts on that. Um, I don't really have any attachment to the director necessarily because I haven't seen any of his other work, but I will, uh, when I get the chance, uh, if I can, uh, check out more. I will. Um. Um really interested uh wasn't a movie on your list called how do you live yeah yeah how do you live and uh that's another anime film coming out by uh Hay- hayao miyazaki and the studio Ghibli, like you know studio and director behind like spirited away princess mononoke and everything and okay yeah supposedly like this is set to come out um in a in a while still but like it's set to come out and it's going to be uh supposedly his last film but he's also he's, he's one of those he's like he said he'd retire like a couple times now so nobody knows how much to believe it but yeah uh, I'll definitely say, like, um, the last film of his that I really, like, remember hearing discussion about, like, when it was happening was uh, The Wind Rises. Uh, but even then, like, I didn't go see it or anything. And, like, I just had people talking about it on, like, you know, like, film shows and everything. Um, so I'm glad that, like, I will get to uh, be, be, be present for uh, all the pre-release hype of, like, a new film by yeah, him. Yeah. I think that'd be a pretty special experience. Yeah, yeah cool uh yeah so it was really interesting uh how do you live and stuff um he's uh he's definitely with like princess mononoke and all that it's uh really interesting stuff and uh yeah hmm. no i i enjoy them so yeah yeah, yeah not so. much else to say about that um yeah um oh yeah there is uh that when you're curious, I'm more. You're more curious than me. I'm more like go away. But, um, <laughs> I think I know what this is. Yes, it's a. So they did Morbius, and we've had Morbius fame, and now we have someone called El Morato. Yeah, yeah, El Morato. Who the fuck is El Morato? What? Yeah. What? El Mu- El Muerto. El Muerto. And he's played by... Is it Danny Trejo? Is it Anthony oh, Banderas? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Bad Bunny. Who the fuck is Bad Bunny? Who the fuck is Bad Bunny? Are you he's, for real, he's, Sony? He's, he's the arch nemesis of Good Bunny. But yeah, um, El Muerto. When I say I'm curious about this film, I mean, I'm again, I'm curious for like... The wrong reasons, but, like, just, like, the idea of it is, like, it's something we've never seen before. Like, okay, we've seen, like, yeah, okay, we've seen studios, like, doing, like, comic book movies, and they're, like, they'll, like, they'll do an obscure character first, and, like, but, but like, even then, like, so for, like, Electra, maybe, like, okay, that's at least, like, a decently popular, like, important character to, like, the actual source material, like... Yeah, yeah, I I enjoyed it, that first. Well, that that second movie, I enjoyed it. it yeah, like it. it's at least that's a character that people actually care about and like is important to like Daredevil and everything. But like this is like, as everyone brought up, he has literally been in two issues of Spider Man, and and that's like, and they were like over ten years ago, and that's all he's ever been in, and it's yeah, it's it's baffling. Like by the time this film comes out, like he. By the time this film comes out, he will have had more presence in this. He will have had more presence in this film than he will have in like the entire like history of his character combined up to this point. Yeah, uh, I just, like. Yeah, I want to say Sony. Here, fella! What the hell are you doing? 
Yeah, exactly. Like, like they had Venom, and okay, Venom did well. They had like Mobius. Well, we, we're to begin with Mobius. Okay, fine, but like, this like I think was like fully the moment that's like pushed people over to being like, like what, like what the fuck, Sony? Like, there are other like yeah, like Venom. Okay, like yeah, you could make a Venom solo movie. It's, it you know it, he's like popular enough at this point to like I think he's earned it. Uh, I mean, earned it is like a weird concept, but yeah, like I I I I understand why uh, they would make a Venom solo film, and obviously like it did well, so yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough with that one. Morbius came out, okay. You you're digging a bit deeper here, like I I don't I I don't think nobody was like really clamoring for this, except for, like I mean, a few small a small number of people like who are big Morbius fans probably like wanted to see. This film. I'll get back to that in a second, actually, but yeah. Um, it, yeah, again, a weird idea, but, like, I feel like that's at least, like, an imp- that, that's a character that's at least, like, decently popular in the sub so it's like, yeah, okay, um, there was intrigue there to some extent, and then they just do this, and it's like, <sighs> like, I don't even, I want to, like, I want to... I wish I could be, like, as they say, a fly on the wall. I wish I could be, like, a fly on the wall in the meeting where they got together and they came to the conclusion like they needed to make this film. I just like I just want to see like what were they what were they thinking? Mm. Like just like what was yeah. the motivation behind it? Yeah. Like uh, like how did how did this even get brought up? Did they like did they just like have a list of like all the characters they still and like they just like they like went way far down and like right them they saw like El Muerto like in between like yeah, civilians. It's, it's sort of like, you know, with the Suicide Squad, how James Gunn picked uh, characters that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily uh, see, or he picked some of the worst uh, to kind of give them more uh, character and give them more sort of, you know, uh, an empathetic feeling. And I had never heard of many of the characters in that Suicide yeah. Squad uh, team up. Um, but doing straight away a sort of a solo movie about El Maretto played by Bad Bunny. Jesus Christ and Holy Harry! <laughs> will you give me a woman to marry? What the feckin' Christ are you doing, Sony? Sony, what the hell, fella? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why? This is like again, like I'll I'll say this much about like what they're doing with these villain solo movies, and it's like I like the idea of it. Like, okay, like giving all these like antagonists like their own solo films like separate from the hero, and then like you can have them team up later and do like villainy shit. Like, okay, I think that's actually like pretty cool, but um like for one, like I mean I don't hate any of, like, the Sony films yet, but, like, I don't think, like, enough people, like, one issue that, like, a lot of people have had with it is, like, okay, like, even if they like the premise of, like, a villain solo movie, like, most of the characters, they don't even, they don't even commit to making them villains, like, they make them into, like, anti-heroes at best, and, like, with the upcoming, like, Craven movie they're doing, like, it's already, like, people, like, mad about that, because, like, they're toning his character way down to be a hero, and it's just, like... Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Just, like, I mean, I just think, like... Just make him an antagonist. I don't. I genuinely do not think like people are like gonna mind like if you just make a character a villain. Like yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like Joker made a billion dollars and like yeah, I don't want to one stuff. Yeah, uh, d- despite some interpretations people have, I think it is generally agreed upon like he was a villain in that movie and yeah, like it yeah. did well. Yeah, yeah, it did. But yeah, it's it's like. Like what even like what what is that team of like gonna be looking like? It's it's gonna like it's gonna be like Venom, then Morbius, then Craven, then they like get, then Madame Web, I guess, and then like uh, El Muerto. <laughs> and Vulture. Oh yeah, Vulture. Um were they talking about doing a rhino thing as well? Like I wouldn't be surprised if like that's on the cards as well, but it's just it's just if what? Paul Giamatti doesn't come back, I'm not like I'm not interested. Yeah. I just, I, I genuinely, this is my message to Sony. You were completely mishandling these characters. You don't know what you were doing. You were so idiotic 
for looking at this and saying, yes, this is the idea we're going for. Yes, this is a good idea. Fuck you, Sony. You don't know anything. And uh, you should give uh, the rights to somebody else that can handle it. Uh, or you should just get Sam Raimi back to do uh, <laughs> Spider-Man 4. Or you could uh, give uh, Andrew Garfield another chance. No, let's give Bad Bunny a movie called El Morato, who nobody except for five people read. So, Yeah, and uh, I've heard there's like, I mean, this is all rumors and stuff, and it seems like a very easy rumor to make up, but um, I've heard there's rumors that like Andrew Garfield was at one point going to come back for uh, Morbius, but that like he... He left mid development, and like that's part of the reason why they had all the Spider Man stuff in the trailers. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I doubt it. No, but like that'd be kind of funny if it was true. No, I. I but I, I doubt it. I, I don't think so. I, yeah. I think uh, they mismarketed that uh, to make people interested in it. That was genuinely mm. the move they were making. Uh, yeah, because I don't think they had. They realized through it like they didn't have. Uh, a good sort of uh, grasp to kind of have people interested in it, so they were just like, "Yeah, let's shove the stuff around," and uh, yeah, that's kind of what happened. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to it anyway, like at all. Yeah, I and was then, like, I was word of the day. It seems like I was curious about it before it came out. Yeah, I wasn't. But I wasn't like, excited. I wasn't really like, uh, you know, I. Even with all that Spider-Man stuff, I was like, it's not going to amount to anything, I don't think. And was that stuff even in the movie? Cause I yeah, no, it, it wasn't. Like, they, they showed, like, the Oscorp uh, tower in the trailer. That wasn't anywhere in the film. And, like, they showed, like, there was, like, a scene where he's, like, going through an alleyway. Yeah. And, like, there's, like, a Spider-Man, like, graffiti, like, yeah. uh, tag on the wall. Um, that scene is in the movie, but, like, the Spider-Man, like, spray paint, like, that's gone. That They removed that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. God. Yeah. Sony, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, God. Yeah. Uh, Madam Web, uh, I'm not really excited for that either, but, like, it at least, like, has some potential. Craven the Hunter, I'm just, like, I'm just, nothing is grabbing me about what I've heard about Craven. Um, I think, like, that's, like, the least interesting of their upcoming movies. Like, at least, at least El Muerto is stupid. You know, and like, yeah. I think stupid is more is more interesting than funny, than, yeah. than boring. Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm I'm just looking forward to Madam Web because Emma Roberts is in it. Yeah, yeah. They got a good cast for for Madam Web, so I'm yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. Like they seem to be like really pushing this. Like I'm hoping this is the one that like makes it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Like, I've seen, like, a lot of people, like, yeah, like, I mean, like, again, it's just, like, it's when you, like, look at, like, all the other characters they haven't done yet. Like, they could have done, like, I don't know, like, a Black Cat movie or, yeah. like, the a Silk movie or something. And, like, I know, like, there's some other plans. Like, maybe they, like, I don't know, maybe they're planning to use those in, like, Spider-Verse or in, like, the MCU already so, like, they can use them. But, like, I just want to know, like, why, like, what, why El Muerto? I don't even know where to begin with it. It's just, it makes it makes no sense. Like, yeah, it literally just looks like they saw a character and like, I I, I believe like Bullet Train's also like a Sony movie and Bad Bunnies and that. So it's like they saw like they could like get a popular musician and to to play this character. So they thought like fuck it, let let's do it and just like go all in on him for the yeah. marketing, which I'm sure they're gonna do. And he's probably gonna do the whole soundtrack as well. But yep. uh, yeah, it's uh, it just. I, 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 uh, there's at least like it got people talking at least, and maybe uh, this. No, I, I don't think I don't. Th I'm, I was gonna say like, maybe they wanted that to happen, but like I don't think they greenlight an entire movie just to like fuck with audiences. No, but, they wouldn't do that. No. I, 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 I would say if nothing else, yeah, okay, it got people talking, but I mean, will will it get people watching? Let's, uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't watch Morbius, and I have no interest. In I saw Morbius more. in cinemas, guys. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow! I yeah, I, I just like I took it was like it was like we see the people at spring break. Like I took my shirt off in the middle of the cinema and like threw it at the screen. <laughs> I was like, I was like, 
opened like a whole can, like a whole keg of beer, and I just like chugged in the middle of the, in the middle of like the uh, the theater. I was just like so hyped. Morbius, yeah, yeah, boy. I hope Morbius shows up as an after credit scene in at least Craven or uh, El Muerto. Oh. Go yeah. man, the sound effects. Um, yeah, sorry, I, I meant to uh, click one, but I kept pressing the wrong one. So, I just, <laughs> uh, God, but yeah, baffling. Uh, I think is the word for it. Yeah, no, I just all these movies are just, you know, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Fucking hell, mm. God. I just. Uh, I never thought I'd see the day where I just uh, want a sequel to No Way Home because I I thought that was just a, a perfect ending, and then with all this stuff being announced, I'm like, yeah, I kind of want Spider Man just to be on his own. Yeah, yeah. I I don't I don't know. There are too many uh, movies about villains. I, I just. It's too much. I, I don't think they need this stuff, you know? Yeah. They yeah, need, I agree. They they don't need to do this. Especially, like, in a world that we live in where we've had one uh, Superman, proper Superman movie with uh, a really good actor. Uh, one, well, like, what am I saying? One Superman movie... For uh, the DCEU Superman, but yet we have multiple movies for different villains uh, who are side villains in Spider Man, and uh, that just mm. doesn't make any sense to me. It's illogical. Yeah, and like at least like the example you used with like the Suicide Squad, like well, a uh, James Gunn like actually made something good with them, and yeah. uh, B, I think it's like easier because like that part of like. They're part of a group. Yeah, they're part like, of a group. That's like, what makes it better, yeah. Yeah, and, like, by the time you finish them, like, you do actually care about them. Like, okay. Like, I'm sure, like, we might have, like, similar reactions of, like, if they announced the Peacemaker show with no movie, we'd be like, who who the fuck is Peacemaker? Or no, uh, it's, like, Pokemon. Uh, Polka Dot Man. Yeah, Polka Dot Man. I, I, at least I had heard of Polka Dot Man before since he was <laughs> in, like, he was in, like, Brave and the Bold, I think, at one point. Um, right. I saw him there, but, yeah. Uh, and like they also like they have more popular characters in it with uh, like Harley Quinn of course and uh, yeah I I, I guess I guess uh, Amanda Wall is a popular character yeah yeah so it's like you know they got that in there so it's like there's someone you know already in it yeah, um, yeah. and yeah because of that that was able to uh, they were able to like uh, create something really special with these uh, less popular characters and now uh, <laughs> net net now Peacemaker is like one of the bigger characters DC has at the moment and like uh-huh, nobody yeah. nobody knew who he was like. Two years ago, yeah. so you know, yeah, props for that. Yeah, props for that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I think uh, the last one we should talk about is probably Rebel Moon. Yeah, uh, Ben Kingsley was recently announced actually to be attached. He to it. was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. Cool. Uh, yeah, Ben Kingsley, um, Anthony Hopkins, right? As well. yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh getting some like some uh some some Shakespearean stuff in this film, but yeah, they've released like some set photos and some behind the scenes stuff, and uh, production wise, everything's looking really good for it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it sounds uh, very interesting, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, it does well, and uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, I'll be interested to see a trailer. I, I don't know if yeah. I'm like. So fully on board yet, but uh, yeah, I'll probably check out a trailer just to see what what it's all about and stuff. Mm. I I agree, I agree. Um, I'd say like yeah, I um yeah, very. The funky podcast. Oh. The funky podcast. Oh. The Funky Podcast Get off the loo Get off your shoe And listen up to me And 
Sean and Vaughn and Don and whatever. Whatever. The Funky Podcast. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.